SP Mats provides various meshing and solving options and gives both graphical and text outputs. Once the model creation is completed, click Solve command in the ribbon. The Solve menu, containing solver options and mesh options, will appear in the left panel. The analytical model options, such as maximum allowed mesh size, circle segments, and maximum allowed aspect ratio, are user inputs that can be changed based on the specific model needs. As a rule of thumb, as the mesh size and circle segments get finer, and the aspect ratio gets closer to 1, the results become more accurate. The solver can be invoked using the Run button in the Solve panel. When the solution is successfully completed, a contour map showing downward displacement envelope is displayed. Moving the mouse cursor over the contour shows resulting contour values. Internal forces, soil pressure, slab displacement and required reinforcement are all presented graphically using the contour maps. Display options allow users to remove elements borders, show slab undeformed and deformed shapes, change the deformed shape scale, and display nodes and elements numberings. The tables module is accessed from within the main program window by clicking the tables command from the ribbon. Alternatively, Tables module can also be accessed by pressing the F6 key. The Tables module interface enables the user to view program inputs and outputs in tables and export them in different formats. If the model has not been executed yet, then the Tables module will only contain a list of input data tables. When a model has been successfully executed, the Tables module will also display the output data tables. Based on the user needs, tables can show inputs and outputs for the entire model, or for specific range of nodes and elements. The selected ranges apply to all relevant tables. It is also possible to export the results tables to be used elsewhere. Thank you for watching. Please visit structurepoint.org for more information.